Hello everybody, welcome to Ready Player 2 Trailer Trash, episode 2, where we watch trailers and decide whether or not they're bollocks. Uh, we have today got iLewis87, say hello iLewis87. Hello iLewis87. And we have a slightly less sarcastic L, say hello L. Really? Less sar- sarcastic? Well, okay, fine. Similar amounts of sarcasm from both of them then. So today we are going to watch a couple of trailers. The first one that we're going to uh, hop into is Command & Conquer. This is the E3 2013 official trailer. So we're going to jump straight in and see what we think. Are we all ready? Yep. Yep. Let's do this. It's inappropriate for children. This is a good start. <laughs> Ever played chess, General? Or, um... Wow, this is cheesy. Do you want to play video games? Do you want to play video games? <laughs> Maybe we do not want to play this video game. More generals. I don't understand the point of more It's going too quickly. It's going too quickly. What do you mean it's going too quickly? Dr. Thrax. More strategy. As opposed to... The previous Command and Conquer game, which is just not not very much strategy at all. No, not at all. Presumably there's... Plenty of strategy if it's called a, a strategy I'll be done with game. You, in time for lunch. you would hope so. You'd hope oh, it's kind of like high octane as well. You wouldn't want, you know, Command and Conquer beige alert. Ever watch someone's face as a rocket's approaching? I can't say that I have. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. They all look so happy. Oh, ooh, that's fast. I know, right? They should slow down. I don't get the whole thing with all of the different commanders. Seems a bit weird. Command and conquer. Racial stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> and we are done. Uh, well, that was all right. I don't know if it made me want to play the game, if I'm being totally honest. I mean, we've all seen a top-down real-time strategy game before, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, did it look like any, you know, did it look any different? Did it make it stand out to you? It, it looked didn't like ev- every other Command and Conquer game, just with better graphics. Yeah. Didn't I must admit... New. I did that whole thing where I played uh, Spring Commander and then I went and played Commander Conquer 3 mm-hmm. uh, when that was the latest one that came out and I was just like woefully let down by it. <laughs> it was just like, as a as a game, it felt really clunky, awkward yeah. to control yeah. and all the rest of it. Uh, I, I don't know. Because that looks like they've basically taken um, Generals and kind of gone, right, well, Generals worked and people really like Generals, so let's just soup it up and, and make it a newer version of that. Mate, yeah, and give it 100,000 different Generals. Is it actually? It's not generals too, is it? No, it's it, it's apparently it's a, a just a full reboot of the the first game, the whole series. Oh, really? mm. uh, okay, well, all right, I'm on board with that. Let's see how it goes. It's not. I must admit, from the trailer, if the entire point of the trailer was to blow me away, it didn't do that. No. no. Oh well, fuck it. We're on to the next one. Dark Souls Two. This is the next one we're going for. This is the Aching Bones trailer from the uh, Tokyo Game Show. I think it was. Yeah. 2013. Uh, are we all ready for a little bit of Dark Souls action? Oh, yeah. yes. Bring it on. Peggy, Peggy 16. 16. <laughs> you should do the voiceover for these. <laughs> from software. That's okay, good. Well, that's a good idea. It'd be, it'd be rubbish. It was from, like, gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it? Built from custard. Oh. Stabby, stabby. Smashy, smashy. Oh, I'm already on board with this. So oh, it kicked him in the face. Oh, in the back of the... Oh, this doesn't look very pleasant Ooh. at all. It's very shadowy stylized, isn't it? Mm. Maybe somebody could shoot a little torch. Oh, oh, with magic in your face. <laughs> he got magic right in his eye. What were those guys doing? They were pretty shit. Oh, oh, he's got wings. Has he got wings? Oh, stabbage. Oh, yeah, he's... You're dead. This is one of those things where it's showing what I can only guess is gameplay without actually letting you know what the gameplay is like. Mm. I actually quite like that because what? if sometimes you get people who ruin the entire story in the trailer. Yeah, but I'd like to know like how the mechanics of the gameplay actually work. Yeah. This is almost a cinematic, but with game graphics. Yeah, true. He hasn't got any legs or arms. <laughs> bit unfortunate, isn't it? Go beyond. With axes. Beyond yes. death. I'm, I'm not sure she can sing. I'm just saying. No. no. It was more of... exciting at the beginning. Mm. Yeah. Now it's, it's all magic. Dope. It's got a bit flat, hasn't it? Lots of magics. 
Yeah, yeah, shield. Fuck you. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take this, Harry. Get a spear up your pipe. <laughs> <laughs> they could have cut the middle of that trailer out and it would have been way more interesting. Yeah. yeah. Ah, just in case you needed to know what the discs look like. There and you go. Special edition gobbins. Yep. That looks all right. Hmm. Oh, I, I know I'm getting it anyway. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've not actually seen anything to do with that game before, so no, that was a first me. That's another one. I, I've got to admit, off the basis of the trailer, I don't think I'd go for it. No, me neither. It's, I, I don't think it shows like how good of an experience it is. You get so frustrated with them and you die so many times. Yeah, I've still got the first one on um, on my PlayStation, but I haven't got around to playing it yet. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I've heard that it will actually rip out my colon and sp stick it up my throat. Yeah. Mm. it's You know how other games, like, hold your hand, it's like, it's okay. Use the X button to jump. Yeah. This one goes, use the X button to jump, and then smashes you into the ground repeatedly. Yeah, this one, this one instead of holding your hand, chops off your hand, sticks it up your ass and goes, use the pad now, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, there you go. Yeah, I have heard that. Um, the only problem that I've got is, I think a lot of the time, a lot of these people, a lot of the trailer making has got really lax because they know that Let's Plays are going to be all over YouTube. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that those will sell the game if the game's good. I think yeah. the, neither of yeah. those trailers that we've just watched have actually made me want to buy the game, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, they have been pretty, pretty shit. <laughs> like, I like that sum up by L there. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty shit. <laughs> that, that didn't really, it d didn't um, give off what the game was about or what, like, just lots of magic and shadow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots of weird lighting effects, but only at the beginning. Mm. Partway through the game, the weird lighting effects go away, so, so that's kind of okay. Somebody turns on a light. Right, <laughs> we've got a short trailer next. We're going to go for this. I've never even heard of this game, so this not 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 just the first look trailer. This is actually the first first everything for me. This is called Crimson Dragon. This is the TGS 2013 trailer. Have we got this ready and ready to insert into our eyes? We have. Done. Let's do it for your eyes. Beep. Nice little beep at the beginning. May contain content inappropriate for children. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> it's like a prerequisite for any decent game. It was to start again. Lots of squares. Draco was in I was lied to. Where's this content in a person? Draco? Draco. It's Harry Potter again. Oh, yeah, I think it is. But we discovered that Draco ooh, ooh, that's a cool looking dragon. Oh, it's a big thing! That's pretty cool. Oh, whoa, this is. You fly. You're a dragon! Oh, wow. I am all for being a dragon. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, oh we got hit by another dragon. <laughs> it was a slightly bigger dragon. What is that? It's like a flying stingray. <laughs> yeah, like, like a master <laughs> raid dragon. <laughs> Nobody wants a flying stingway. Steve Irwin had shit himself. Oh my god. If he well, wasn't dead. Well, he wasn't. <laughs> right, maybe <laughs> now. Oh, oh, that looks big. Oh, what happened? Crimson. Oh. Well, I'm not going to lie, that looks amazing. That, that was so much better than the last two. Right, there you go, Command and Conqueror Dark Souls 2. This is how you make a trailer. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what's going on there. It looked like Top Gun, but with dragons. <laughs> it's like, and if you were ever going to pitch a film in a Hollywood studio, that's all you have to do. Just walk into the studio. Don't have a script or anything. Just walk in and go, it's like Top Gun with dragons. And that's it, done. Somebody's See, I, I love the, the prospect of flying on dragons. That's what really disappointed me about Skyrim. You know, you get to the dragon, and you're just like, oh, shit, go ride him. And it's like, oh, it's a cinematic. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's like some kind of Cornish farmer on a dragon. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm going riding. <laughs> oh, you got a brand new dragon with a saddle. Oh, you got you the key. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Oh uh, I like that. It wasn't even riding a dragon, though, was it? You were just the dragon. I didn't yeah. see a guy on the back of the dragon. I, I thought I saw a person on the dragon. Well, like... I don't think he was intentionally there. I think the dragon maybe just yeah. picked him up as he was flying past. Or it was a smaller dragon. It was a smaller dragon. A smaller <laughs> dragon on top of the Well, like slipstreaming on the back of it, like those small fish that eat the stuff off the back of sharks. Yeah. yeah. It contains content in oh. it for kids. <laughs> this is, I... yeah. <laughs> That's why it contains content inappropriate for kids. Not only is the dragon killing of the dragons, it's also having sex. Just casual, <laughs> casual sex as you're playing the game. While it's flying about and fire breathing on people. Yeah. Fire breathing stuff. And, and every now and again, it just whips out this one liner I couldn't give a flying fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> yeah, uh, my, my face may contain content inappropriate for children. Right, the last one is possibly the best trailer that I've ever heard of. I've still, I've not seen it, but it looks amazing already from the name. This is Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, which I'm kind of hoping is what Ross came up with on the podcast the other week, which is that the, <laughs> like the ghosts have got their private investigative agency. I I have seen a little bit of this and it looks. Nothing Terrible. Like, nothing. Like that <laughs> it's going to be awful. It's going to be awful, isn't it? Okay, right, fine. Let's let's do. We're going to have to do this just to just to see what what it's like. Are we ready? Yep. Yep. Right, this does. Yet, it's not yet rated, but it probably contains content that is appropriate for children. That's, oh, that's very well ah. Hunger for thrills. Craving for fun. This already reminds me of Worms 3D. Oh Jesus Christ, my eyes. Packs the. Oh God. Oh, oh, no. oh okay. it, was, it was all nice and cheery, and then he just starts eating people. Oh, oh great! God. Let's go for some. Let's go for some happy hardcore in the house. Big appetite. Oh God! And with jump style in the background as well. Scary. Flying Pac-Man. Oh. I don't really understand what's going on here. What is the objective? Is it just to I don't eat just ghosts? Everything. Ah. It's a bit oh. horrible. Crap. And then he eats them anyway. Apparently, that's the thing that he does. Right, I'm just gonna eat you. I'm just gonna eat you. You got a snot problem? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat you. Oh, he turns into. Okay, that... this is just now Mario with Pac-Man, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Oh, a, a cherry. I'm so confused. Uh... And then he works out Pokeballs. I don't like it. I don't know what just happened to my face. <laughs> that was like that was terrible. That was, looked, that looked you, awful. You know how the the other guys weren't very good at making trailers. Well, these guys aren't very good at making games. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't care if they can make a trailer that that looks amazing. That game's gonna suck, and you can just tell. There's just it was too bright and colourful. It's not it's not my thing. I'll what? show it to a three year old and see what they think. What is it? Now, am I right in saying that a little while ago, not a lot of while ago, there was a Pac Man TV program, wasn't there? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it was a Pac-Man cartoon. That's what that reminded me of. Jesus. Is it Pac-Man thing... World? The, the problem that I've got is he looks like Dizzy. Has anybody noticed this? Apart from the fact that he's wearing red gloves instead of red boxing gloves, he basically looks like Dizzy. Yeah. Yeah. That's because that game was actually is actually based on the computer animated television series. Oh, well, there you go then. Yeah. So, so they decided to create a bollocks game based off a bollocks television series. Good job. By Namco Bandai and Disney XD. Well. Sometimes you just need to bring an idea and take it out behind the shed and yeah. shoot it. That, that's just one of them. Sometimes you just need. Well, what you need to do is before you do any of these, um, any of these meetings in which you decide that you're going to make a game, don't do coke. <laughs> because it impairs your judgment and you're going to end up making a crap game just saying so yeah, th yeah there you go Bandai Namco um, stop doing coke that'll probably help yeah. so is that, is, that, is that our full complement of trailers for this that episode is, yep that's all that's our four trailers that is literally all she wrote so out of all of those games how many do you reckon we'll be buying two two I think the dragon flying one wasn't even on my radar before and yeah. it is now flapping right onto my radar. Command and Conquer, couldn't be bothered with. Dark Souls 2, I'll see how much Dark Souls 1 rapes me first. And that, that Pac-Man, I may buy it just so that I can burn it. <laughs> um, but to be honest, just, just, just so that I can feel good in the knowledge that there's a kid somewhere that doesn't get given that game for Christmas. Oh. But uh, I, I really doubt that, the, the, that they're going to be selling out of that anytime soon, to be honest. So I don't right. think that'll help anything. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> that was a, that was a woefully inadequate trailer trash episode two uh we're going to try and make this a slightly more regular thing so we're going to be back very shortly with hopefully another trailer trash with some more amazing or slightly crap uh trailers i've been zebwen or newbie five i've been i lose 87 and i've been escaping irl and we are all fucking amazing see you later bye, bye. If you like this episode of Ready Player 2 Trailer Trash, make sure that you check out our podcast. All the information can be found at the Ready Player 2 website. You can get there by clicking on the really great green Ready Player 2 logo in the middle of the screen. Unless you've got a blind, in which case it might be purple. Thanks for listening. Love you.